This time on Filmmaker, we are looking at Alfonso Cuaron. The Mexican-born director has made eight films over 27 years and has won two Best Director Oscars in that time. It is hard to peg down exactly what a Cuaron film is, as they range from extremely dark to family fantasy, and each has its very own vision and style. But all are well worth talking about, so let's count them down from worst to best. Number 8. Great Expectations. Quran has called this film his biggest mistake, and it is hard to argue with him. This modern version of the Dickens classic goes heavy on the romance and light on the subtlety. It's Hollywood through and through, with an all-star cast, and even Quran admits that he mostly took the gig for the money. That and an excuse to work with Ethan Hawke, whose renamed lead, Finn, is the high point of the decidedly uneven film. Number 7, Solo Con Tu Pareja. And I know I'm almost certainly saying that wrong, but this 1991 Spanish language film was Koran's first. It is a charming sex farce with a bit of an edge. It's about a philandering ad writer who gets caught with his pants down by one too many women and is given a false positive on an STD test before making a suicide pact with the flight attendant next door that he's fallen in love love with. That all sounds a lot darker than this movie actually is. It's actually a fairly bright and funny film, and there are certainly more than a few glimpses of Quran's talents to come. Number six, A Little Princess. Quran's first critically acclaimed film is a decidedly simple children's movie that follows the well-trodden path of orphans, evil caretakers, imagination, and a little bit of magic, all the things that we tend to love in a kid's classic movie. The serendipity definitely goes a little bit too far, and the child actors do say every line with almost excruciating sincerity, but there's a comfort to the lived-in world and to the knowing what comes next, and Quran shows a deft touch at creating something that's vibrant even if it's mostly browns and grays. If you're looking for a family movie, you could do a lot worse. Number 5. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban The third Harry Potter film was a much different vision of Hogwarts. After the mostly inviting magical lands of Chris Columbus's first two films, Quran's Hogwarts is largely gray and gloomy and reflects the coming doom of the Dementors. It's also the first of the films that really made critics sit up and take notice of what some still thought was just a children's series. Quran dives deeper into character and emotion and brings things to life partly by shooting on location and partly by making the most of an exceptionally stellar cast that includes Gary Oldman and David Thewlis. Number four, E2 Mama Tambien. After the slight setback of Great Expectations, Quran went back to basics with a Spanish-language road movie that has heart and soul to spare. Itumama Tambien is a coming-of-age masterpiece. The script feels so honest, it's almost confessional. The action moves briskly, and everything's bright and warm like the best summer of your teenage years. This was in a lot of ways the film that put Quran firmly on the map, as well as the film that launched the careers of both Diego Luna and Gael Garcia Bernal. It's an exceptional film with exceptional talents having the time of their lives. Number three. Children of Men. Handheld shaky cams have become the ultimate tool of bad directors, mostly used to either build unearned tension or cover up a director's inability to block out an action sequence. That is not the case here. Quran uses handheld cameras along with long shots to truly drop us into the action. It helps that he understands how to really use the tools at his disposal, finding clever ways to fill the world with so many little touches that we barely glimpse, but which all add up to something that's so much greater than their parts. The whole thing is the ultimate show don't tell, and the world that it shows is as harrowing as it is interesting. Even if the camera movement makes me a little bit seasick, 
this is the one time when the payoff was worth it. Number two, gravity. Perhaps the most exceptional thing about Alfonso Cuaron is his ability to break out a whole new toolkit for each film. Nothing in his past career could have prepared us for this jump into the world of 3D and visual effects, and for my money, Gravity is the best use of 3D in a film to date. And between the exceptional visuals and the attention to detail, this is the closest any of us will ever come to legitimately being lost in space. Quran brings the scope to its most intimate, even switching to first-person perspective at times, and it works. It certainly helps that Sandra Bullock delivers the best performance of her career, but we legitimately feel like we're in her shoes in space during a disaster with almost no hope of survival. Number one, Roma. Yet again, Quran reinvents the wheel, going from one character to a weaving tale of social classes and from visual spectacle to simple but beautiful black and white. Quran made the film using almost entirely non-actors and shooting the whole thing in chronological order while also using tricks like the one shot on the beach or putting static cameras all around the house. And it brings a legitimate intimacy to this largely autobiographical story. We're allowed to linger on the small details as much as the big ones and see the real life of this family or families in upheaval. It's honest and affecting in the way that only the very best films are, and it is thus far the best of an already remarkable career. And that is it. Please let me know in the comments which one is your fave. I'm guessing that the votes will be split pretty evenly between those top three, maybe even top four, and that is fair. I could be easily swayed between them. Also, maybe like and subscribe, and hopefully I will see you all next time.